I'm going to read four stories. Um, I'm going to try to put them in the most simple terms I know how. Getting my stories from... The Subjectively Liberal New York Times. Hundreds die in eastern Turkey is jolted by quake. I'm sorry. Hundreds die as eastern Turkey is jolted. Hundreds die as eastern Turkey is jolted by quake. Um, this anchor or this uh, news person is in Istanbul, Turkey, Istanbul, Turkey. Um, so Turkey is a country. Look at where Turkey is on the map. Turkey, according to Wikipedia, is officially known as the Republic of Turkey. It is a Eurasian country, Europe and Asia. Located in Western Asia, mostly in the Anatolian Peninsula, and the and in East Thrace, in southeastern Europe, Turkey is bordered by eight countries: Bulgaria to the northwest, Greece, Georgia, Armenia, Azerbaijan, and Iran, and Iraq and Syria. To the southeast, uh, um, 240 people were killed, more than 1,000 were injured. What part of Turkey did this place hit? Turkey, the country, not Turkey, like um, a turkey. Whoa, they've been having more than 200 aftershocks, um, shook through the night, and so 350 people are injured. Um, there's a lot of crazy stuff happening over there. Crazy, crazy stuff happening over there. Um, the Earth basically decided to quake.usgs.gov. What are earthquakes? What are earthquakes? This is me trying to sound like a, a seismologist. I'm one of those earthquake scientists. Shaking and vibration at the surface of the earth resulting from underground movement along a fault plane of from the volcanic activity a disturbance that is extremely disruptive um an earthquake also known as a quake tremor or tembler is a result of a sudden release of energy in the earth's crust that creates seismic waves you're going to have to Google what those are yourself. Apparently that is what happened to um, our dear Turkey, um, located in Eurasia, the, uh, yesterday. Um, cities affected. Eryx, or Ursus. Ursus. My name is the person named Tarkas. Was rescued from the rubble. Oh, there's good news. More than 1,270 aid workers from 38 nearby towns were sent to Van to Vaughn and Ursus to help in the relief efforts. So that, those are the two most affected areas, apparently, in Turkey. Um, uh, Israel offered, uh, came off as a diplomatic standoff. Oh, excuse me, that's, no, that's, I'm not going to talk about that. Um, President Obama offered condolences to the victims' families. Our thoughts and prayers are with the brave men and women who are working to bring assistance to this stricken region. Mr. Obama said, We stand shoulder to shoulder with you, our Turkish ally, in this time of difficulty. And we ready we are ready to assist the Turkish authorities. Version has like three or four pages of what's really going on over there, I'm assuming. One can only assume. What other story do I want to talk about? La 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 la. Boring, boring, boring. La 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 la. Boring, boring, boring. Ah, ah. <laughs> European debt. European debt. This is coming from Brussels. Still, New York Times. Um, this is by a Stephen Erlinger and a Stephen Castle. Oh my goodness. One of the Stevens spells it V E N, the other one is P H E N. That's funny. Okay, published this morning. Uh, 
With a sense of urgency, the leaders of the 27 European Union nations grappled directly on Sunday with their thorniest financial and economic problems and made progress that they promised could yield a complete package of measures within days. La 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 la. The hope is that the series of the least efforts to solve the problem is going to show how great debt we can bank on our bailouts, 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 boom, boom, bailouts, bailouts, bailouts. There are a lot of protests and strikes happening in Greece because of money issues, because people don't like money or they don't have enough of it. Uh, there's a stability fund that's being created for these countries, um, countries such as Greece, España, um, and Poland, and uh, France and Germany, among other European countries, have been putting a stability fund together. The uh, goal is to get uh, earn up to seven hundred fifty dollars fifty billion dollars in resources and one point two five trillion euros in all that's one big printing machine somebody's talking here it is mr van rompuy president of the european council raised the prospect of deepening economic Union, including exploring the possibility of limited treaty changes. That's what he said. I don't know if he's British. Um. Yeah, so it looks like these countries, um, Germany and uh, France, uh, are coming together to create a fund, and they're looking f looking into investors from Brazil, China. Um, all these different places to come together and to create um, the above the aforementioned um, funds to raise that amount of money, trillions and billions, for countries in Europe that are currently undergoing um, economic economic collapse. All right, let's go back to the main page. Oh, something fun! Something fun! Oh, this is very interesting. Derailment of six trains delays subway commute. What? Delays on the subway commute. That's so unusual. Okay, so two cars. This is written by Andy Newman. Um, written by on October twenty fourth. Two cars of an uptown bound number six train derailed south of Canal Street before dawn. Monday morning, injuring no one but snarling commutes on the Lexington Avenue line. Trains. Um, two of the cars. This is the train. This is the train. This is. This is the train. And it's moving. Moving. And two of the cars came. Oh, those. Okay. Um. This is the train. This. This is this is the train. This is the train. Two of the cars got left behind or continued on without the others. Either way, two cars are not a part of the train anymore. And so that's causing issues to happen with um, the commute. Uh, it's a very bad day for the trains. A very normal day for everyday commuters of the four, five, and six trains. Uh, um, in my in my very uh, small attempts to make learning about the news much like high school, um, this is where I was going out with this like very sort of dramatic. Uh, okay, um, because high school is very dramatic. It's whether you go to a drama high school or not, whether you go to high school for drama or not. It's just at that time in your life things are super heightened, and there's so much going on, and you do not think rationally, <laughs> and. Um, there's just a bunch of stuff happening, just like the news. So I feel like, um, 
your news, your way, high school. It's not just for high school students. It's for um, those adults that still think they're in high school. Oh, how cute. Except it's not. You should probably grow up. Um, so, yeah. Okay. Toodles. See you later. Bye. Okay, bye.